Hello, bubble lovers out there. It's Steve Langley with the Soap Bubble Circus. A special hello to all you folks with the York County Library System who are tuning in for their summer reading program. This is the second video. The first video was how to make your own soap. This one, I'm gonna show you a couple of do-it-yourself bubble projects that you can make at home yourself using things that you can find around the house. So you shouldn't have to go out and buy anything. This first project I'm gonna share with you is a soap bubble foamer or an anaconda maker. What you wanna do is you wanna get a short water bottle or a short soda bottle. You can use a regular size, but the short ones work best. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a pair of scissors. And if you're too young, get an, a parent or an adult or a supervisor to help you with this and take a pair of scissors and you're gonna cut off the bottom of the bottle just so you have a big opening. Make sure you cut it off nice and even so you have a nice flat surface and a big opening on the bottom. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that sock that one sock that you've kept around, you lost the other sock, and for some reason you thought it might turn back up. So you kept that one sock. You can go ahead and take that one sad, lonely sock you've been holding on to, and what you're going to do is you're going to cut just the toe of it off. Just the toe and a few inches, just like that. Just remove the toe part of the sock. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that sock, and you're going to slide that over the open end of the bottle that we just cut the bottom off of. And you're going to slide it over that and you're going to pull it nice and tight. Pull it down there nice and tight and evenly. Pull it snug. And then what you want to do is roll it back. Roll it back just a little bit. Roll it back just like this. Now, if you want to take this next step and you can take a rubber band and put that around it, that'll help secure it on there and hold it on there just like that. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you can take some tape and tape it on there like I did with this one. Either way will work. Then you're going to take that bottom that bottle with the sock on the end, and you're gonna put it in a bowl or a small dish with some bubble soap. Any bubble soap will do. It doesn't have to be high quality bubble soap like I use. Even the cheap stuff you can get at the drugstore or the grocery store works. Dip it in the soap, shake it off just a little bit, and watch what this thing does. Lots of fun, it makes big foam snakes, watch. <sighs> Isn't that fun? And they dance. Look. Doo, 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 doo. You can make a tower and see how long you can keep it balanced. Oh, no. And you can also blow it and make snow. There you go. Some soap bubble foam fun for you at home. A little project you can do yourself. We're going to move on to project number two next. Stay tuned. Hey, bubble lovers, it's time for do-it-yourself project number two. This one I'm going to share with you is called the Zabrowski Bubble Frame. It was invented by a guy named Bernie Zabrowski, who worked at the uh, Boston Children's Museum in their bubble lab up there. And what you're going to need for that is you're going to need a length of string. Um, the length depends on how big you want the frame to be. I usually like it to be... A square so whatever two straws you're going to use you want that length plus that length again so what you're going to do I, I like using you're going to need two straws and a length of string i like using these milkshake straws because they're a little thicker and it's easier to thread the the line through now as far as the line that you want to use you can experiment with different types of string yarn uh clothesline string experiment with different materials but what you're going to want to do is cut a length of that thread it through the two straws just like i've done here and then you're going to take and you're going to make a square knot with the string so essentially you're going to end up with a loop of string through the two straws just like this it's not quite a square it's more of a rectangle but that'll still work so basically i've got it threaded through the two straws and tied in a knot. So we essentially have created a window frame that we're gonna make a bubble film window frame. So you wanna make sure that you have a tray to dip it in. Make sure that the tray is wide enough that the straws will fit down inside. I've got an upside down Frisbee here and we're gonna pour a little bit of soap in here. And like I said, with most of these experiments that I'm showing you, most of these um, do-it-yourself things, you can use any kind of bubble soap. Now, 
The secret to not letting a bubble pop is your hands or whatever is going to touch the bubble has to be soapy. So make sure that you get your fingers good and soapy. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lift up that bubble frame with the straws together and you're going to carefully see if you can't separate it and keep it open while you maintain some soap bubble film. So you essentially have a frame, a window frame with soap bubble film. You can blow through it very gently and make bubbles. The closer you get to it and the smaller you make your lips, the smaller the, bubble, the smaller the bubbles are. If you blow from further back with bigger lips, you can make a bigger bubble. Now, if you're really careful, you can even make a bubble by moving the frame around. Let me dip it again. Once the bubble film pops, you have to dip it again. Try and separate it. Make sure that you get it in all the soap. Put the two straws together. Lift it out very carefully and see if you can't maintain soap bubble film while you open it up. And then sometimes you can even make a bubble that way. Fold a bubble off of it. So there we go. You can make your own Zabrowski bubble frame using two straws and a length of string. And then you need some sort of tray. An upside down Frisbee works good to dip it in. Dip it in very carefully. The tricky part is getting it out. Keep the straws together as you lift it out. And then slowly, you have to maintain a soap bubble film as you slowly pull it apart. That's the tricky part. Do it very gently, very slowly. And if you're careful, you can end up with the soap bubble frame that you can try to do a few things with. There we go. There's a nice one. Have fun with your do-it-yourself bubble projects. Thanks for watching.